when you start at 18, your eyes are focused on, I'm going to be a vet in practice. Studying at Cambridge Vet School, um, it does open your eye to the, to the world of possibilities with veterinary medicine. It's not just a case of study the veterinary medicine, go and work in general practice for the rest of your life. You never know where the vet career is going to go and it's an incredible thing that it can almost go anywhere. Um, whether that's European specialism, whether that's research, uh, teaching, uh, government work. The size of the vet school is the important thing. You know, this is, it, it is the smallest of the vet schools, but we see that as very much positive. Out of all the universities, we've got the smallest class sizes, about 60 a year. It means that we get the opportunity to spend more time with the students on, on a one-to-one -one basis. Um, that goes for the first kind of three years where you've got the supervision system. So uh, once a week, you're literally spending an hour with somebody from your three main subjects and you're talking it through, you've got the ability to ask questions, we have the ability to question you. Find in the final year, um, the groups are three, there's three students, so you're not treated as students at that point, you are about to become professionals, you are treated as professionals, you're part of the decision-making team. You have one-to-one -one case control, um, which is actually quite unique, I think, out of ev everywhere else. We have the best of both worlds. On the one hand, we're at the epicentre of a huge um, research environment, um, so we have the benefits that that brings in terms of being at the cutting edge of research advances, but we also have a wonderful referral hospital on site, um, which gives our students the chance to get lots of clinical experience in very small groups. We, we don't want to trade off a name. I don't think any of us want to trade off just the Cambridge name. What we want to do is be justifiably up there as one of the great science universities in the world. Of the last five years we've had the Clinical Skills Centre um, which is now set up and is, is a foundation of our, our training. You know, There's a chance to go and practice all those skills before you go and see a live animal. Um, there, there's various equipment around that allows us to practice putting in cannulas um, to potentially give animals fluid. Um, and there's some wonderful equipment here where we can actually control what they see on the screen for the anaesthetic as if there was a real patient there. What that allows us to do is obviously give them a relatively normal set of circumstances and then slowly ease them into something maybe more dramatic happening. You'll see an array of animals at the vet school, which is incredible. I've, in my final year, I've been involved in treating of a cheetah from a local wildlife sanctuary. Um, I've been involved with people's pet pigs, thoroughbred horses that run races, people's prized pets down to rats and people's you know, hamsters and guinea pigs. There's such a wide array of animals that you'll be involved in treating and you never quite know what's going to come through the door. These are some of the horses that we use for teaching. Um, specifically, um, I use these horses to teach cardiology. Uh, we have um, two other buildings as part of the hospital. One which is um, our diagnostic unit with also uh, where our inpatients stay and we have an intensive care unit at the back of that building. And our other building is a surgical building where we've got um, two surgical suites. What we're really looking for at interview is a real passion for the subject and um, an ability to problem solve and have a go at problems even if it's an unfamiliar topic or an unfamiliar area. I think it's really important to have a really inquisitive mind, um, always be asking questions, that's the way that we're always learning and developing within, within the career. So we're not so interested in acquisition of specific knowledge at that point but really an ability to problem solve and have a go. I think the other thing that's really quite important to us it is a science-based degree here, it's a very heavily science-based degree and we want people that are passionate about that science, the, the underlying kind of principles behind it. I got to the end of my first year and I'd failed a couple of my exams. Actually I feel now, five years on, I'm a stronger person for having gone through that than if I'd have found vet school a walk in the park because actually there are going to be challenges through my career, that there's going to be difficult cases, there are going to be things that you're not going to be able to do but that's okay, you can, you can get over those and you can still build and improve. Whether you think it or not, you are Cambridge material because you're the brightest of your class if you're applying for veterinary medicine. You know, you're up there. In my mind, I wasn't Cambridge material. I was never going to get in. I only applied because my parents said, well, what's the harm in sending off an application? And yet I'm here three months, hopefully, from graduating as a, as a qualified vet.